even attempted to aid his solo lanes in this game. Yet he's not farming at an amazing pace either. He did secure the one dragon for Dig. He's a jungler who's been struggling a fair bit lately. He loves to play that supportive style of jungle, which when you fall behind leads to some very poor right. looking games and it looks fantastic when you're ahead. Definitely trying to tunnel this bottom lane ahead this match. And it is giving them the turn down the dragon, so his attention spent has given them an edge in this second of the map. Gonna keep an eye on how they keep PewDiePie farming here. Yeah. It's gonna be difficult now with him out the turret. He might be having to share with other lanes. Let's just see how that goes in stealing up camps. Because like we said, Crumb's behind as well. He's gonna have to start feeding even more to the outside. The static ship rush on Void Boy. Yep. Exactly what there we've seen is. from Robert X. Lee's bot lane Tristana. This time on the mid lane with Void Boy, he'll be able to take mid lane. Enemy race, as they're going up to now, his own raid camps. It's going to be a whole bunch of CS there getting to Void Boy here. You can see Shifter. Not really forced, but he is still going for the Athenes. He wants to get that in there, and then he will get his armor, but he's trying to bypass it early and get to that as soon as possible. Hasn't hurt him. He hasn't gone down for it just yet. But he's playing very, very safe. You see that blue once again. Ooh, two in a row. On the board. We're getting him a little bit low. Yeah, that blue is really going to start coming in big. Here comes the skill shot prowess that Shifter loves to be playing. This is what he would be throwing out all the bombs up today. He's got his regen. I guess the magic resistance, if you will. It's not helping out so yeah. much. That's a great sound. It's a, new, it's a new, like, favorite sound. Shield break. Blocking things. It's nice. Not so much the jacks on a turret, but... Can you get what you wish for. Movement. You can see they're hoping to catch Shifter while he's shoving the lane. At this point, uh, they're both such wave queer machines that they're pretty much just trading 6 CS per wave. The big thing is about the dragon respawn here. Uh, that's why Eve and Trist were looking for those that openings. They're trying to clear out potential pin for They didn't catch that word on the outside. Now an even more obvious word, but Crumbs has been a long ways away from the dragon respawn. A missed timing for sure by Dignitas right there. Crumb's just not timing yep. his recalls adequately. Very nice done, Chris, to take back the second dragon. We've seen a lot of times that they would be the risk-averse team, not really wanting to try for it, saying we're all right with what we're doing, and those are okay to go by the wayside. Of course, they came battle hurt. Sounds Spartan. A little back and forth with Quas in the top lane. Oh, 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 one way goes in. I don't think he used his, he did use his ultimate. It got repelled. Crumbs tries to get out on that one. Dominate goes in. The lockup from Shifter. Dominate's going hard on this, and he just gets dropped down. Shifter's ultimate from close range. <laughs> one for one, back and forth. What a fight. How does Shifter use Jared's ultimate? Point blank. But he gets the kill on the high will dominate right there. The repel is what created the window, so Death for Crumb creates a kill for Shifter. And since Cutie Pie's in that mid lane, maybe the mid turn as well. Close, Cutie Pie oh, has man. really focused. Any shots? A nice dodge on the Glacial Fisher for the Void Puppy. He stays nice and safe. Dignitas answer back a little bit there. Very nice. It's going to be a tough one to hold, though, especially with all the ranged poke. And just stuff Dignitas throws onto the map. Yeah. can't get ranged with auto attack with the end. Do they have Siege? Yes, they do. Yeah. I mean, you look at Dignitas' composition, it's almost a perfect Pokemon. Yeah. Zion Spartan will still have Spears if he does decide to group up with this team. Nearly impossible to catch. Zareth is the absolute largest Siege Mage you can get in the game. Kog'Maw is ultimate as well. Incredibly long-range Pokemon. Yeah. They are built to Siege up if they can get into that phase. And I love that you, usually you'd see Janna back in the day. I love the use of Morgana now. A lot more power, a lot more control for the team to continue the fight, not disengage. And Kiwi Kid, he's, he'll get mobility